Yo, man, what is going on, man? We back with another video, man. This is Gogeta versus Gito. And we got some beautiful ladies in here, man. We brought back Miss Luli and Marisol. Oh. If anybody don't like it, we're going to take a fade right here, right now, motherfucker. Oh, this is a banger right here, bro. So I'm going to need y'all to spam that like. Y'all lovely ladies, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at, though. Hi, guys. My name is Marisol Acosta, and you guys can follow me at IG or TikTok at Marisol.Acosta. Hello, friends. It's me, Luli. You guys can follow me on all social media platforms as that girl, Luli, L U L Y. And also check out my short film, Microscopic, that I wrote, directed, edited, and started. Hey, guys. I'm Brene. My name is Long, but I can spell it out for you. It's B R I A N I Q U E. And that's on all pro platforms. Hi, my name is Lokita. You can follow me on TikTok at Too Risky. Two, like the letter, the number two, R I S K I E. Yeah. Uh, Wonder why it's too now risky, that. though. Mm. But hey, go ahead, go ahead. I heard that nickname and Lokita, too. <laughs> yeah, man. You guys can go subscribe to my channel at Rainy TV. Y'all already know what's coming on the channel, but not only that, we got beautiful ladies. Can we all see an outfit check of the day? I got a sexy for us. Okay. Come on, okay. so, okay. so, oh, oh, she's twerking, God. hey. Ooh, hey, dang. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hey, 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 Man, these things are so easy to find nowadays. Yes, now with this ultimate power, I can finally conquer Have the Gogeta world. Have fight Vegito. <laughs> what? Oh, come on! It's the ultimate Dragon Ball question! Which fusion of Goku and Vegeta is stronger? Gogeta, the combo greater than legends, or Vegito, the mix who surpassed gods? Intriguing. They are in many ways identical, yet still quite You ever play that game, Rainy? Though in canon, they only have a collective total yes, of I play that game. appearances. To truly determine who would win, let's examine all of their material. So that's Z, GT, Super, Movies, Games, Guidebooks, Toys, Twitter, even all the crazy Xenoverse and Hero stuff. Hold on to your Dragon Balls. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. The theater in Japan. You're there to watch Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn, and it's gonna be the most radical movie ever, dude. I mean, yeah, it was a little weird when Adolf showed up, but then what? it happened. Goku and Adolf? Vegeta were pushed to the brink with only one option left. They merged into a single <laughs> being of amazing power, Gogeta! And that okay. would be the greatest thing yes. eight-year-old you ever saw. Yep. You peaked at eight. Fun fact, while Vegito had you already been in the manga two months earlier, <laughs> Vegeta was created first. After all, the movie had been in production throughout the previous year. Two Saiyans, the proud son of royalty and the lower class champion becoming one epic powerhouse? Five, three? Oh, that's a five nine. Nine. <laughs> that's a five yeah, nine. It's nine. so light though, man. I mean, I even though he's taller than me though. You guys are taught us. <laughs> Staying here five feet. I'm five feet, so I don't really care about height. Everyone's big. That's all that matters. Like. This is the true potential of Goku and Vegeta. Easily a top five Dragon Ball moment. Hey, nothing beats the first time we saw Super Saiyan, but, but I think this comes close. This method of fusion was taught to Goku by the Metamorans, a mysterious alien people who we never actually see. But I'd guess they like wearing crop tops with inflatable shoulder pads. Anyway, when Goku <laughs> taught this fabled technique to Goten and Trunks, that's the fusion <laughs> thing. The most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. This is the fusion Yeah, I have it in Fortnite. On top of an incredibly precise movement routine, this technique requires both parties to match <laughs> power levels in order to fuse successfully. A literal That's pretty cool, though. I ain't going to lie. Only as strong as the weakest. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> More like Fat Boo. Why do you like Fat Boo? Was Boo X Vegeta? Majin Boo X Vegeta? Yeah, that's what it looks like, though. <laughs> oh, it looks like Vegeta's Vegeta boo. mom, low-key. Screw up, trust me. But if you nail it, you're the baddest mother ever on the planet. Though not part of mainline canon, Goku and Vegeta first used this to battle Janemba, a demon basically composed of essence of evil. Probably smells like cats. Gogeta defeated oh. him in less than two minutes. 20 years Dang. later, Gogeta would become canon to conquer one of the most dangerous entities in the multiverse, 
Bro he's sexy. Wow. Obviously, Gogeta's super powerful, <laughs> but I think his most underappreciated skill is how he comes up with awesome <laughs> attack names. Like the Big Bang Kamehameha, Stardust Fall, Meteor Explosion, and the ultimate villain killer, Stardust Breaker. I Fancy never heard of it. attack that completely obliterates all I heard they're making a new game, too. That's how it took out Janemba in one shot. The guy was literally made of evil. Or cats. Weirdly enough, this is similar to Devil Man's Devil Might Be, which causes the evil within a person to explode and- Oh, you mean Spike? That guy's hilarious! Which obscure <laughs> character are you gonna reference next? Icarus? Sour Man? General Rildo? Oh man, that guy's just one letter up from General Dill. <laughs> Over the years, oh. Gogeta has achieved <laughs> the empowered forms of Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, and even Super Saiyan 4 in his battle against Omega Shenron. Super Saiyan 4 is a totally unique branch of transformation. Mm. Instead of using Divine Key like Super Saiyan God, it taps for okay, so the so Super Saiyan is right Golden here. Four. Golden Great Ape? Get out. I don't want to see that one. <laughs> I never seen I Super, see that Super one. Saiyan 4. I never seen it like in video. The only ones I seen was up to Super Saiyan 3, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't get I didn't get to that part either to when they like go to the full like the game part. Goku and Vegeta's Saiyan like bloodline, levels. giving them fuzzy red yeah, fur and Team so God oh. Shadow. Goku has also claimed this form increases a Saiyan's inherent aggression, though you wouldn't know it with Gogeta. He basically becomes Dragon Ball's Bugs Bunny, reveling and messing around with his foe any way he can. Until the that fusion tone. runs out. That's that right. tone, man. What that tone do, man? Time <laughs> 30 minutes. This can be reduced even more if Gogeta uses up a lot of energy. Against Omega Shenron in GT, he's split apart after about 10 minutes. Just more evidence that the amount of power Gogeta possesses is enormous. Even repeatedly striking Broly so hard that the boundaries between dimensions shattered like glass wasn't enough to burn through his time. Hell, he was only in Super Saiyan 1 when he did that. Dang. After going blue, Broly didn't stand a chance. Based on earlier in the film, Whis's reaction even implies that Gogeta could possibly take on Beerus. In Dragon Ball Heroes, Gogeta continues <sighs> to prove he's one of the multiverses as the Okay, I never seen he that. Even defeated the Crimson Mask Super Saiyan Rose full power Goku Black and Ultimate God Slayer Hearts the God Hater. You, you know, those guys. And mm. two Gogetas the together to take on yeah. Fu. Oh, yeah. Just, just Fu? After all that, he's just called Fu? Dark King Fu, the artificial bio-android demon mutant. He has Saiyan, Namekian, oh, Earthling, really Majin, and Eternal Dragon DNA. Is this fan fiction? Hearts the God Whiner claimed Fu could become an entity <laughs> akin to Zeno, that little blue baby who can erase a multiverse with a thought. But these Gogetas Dang. achieved even stronger forms than before. One was in Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, the boosted form Vegeta achieved during the Tournament of Power. The other was Super Saiyan 4, but not just any Super Saiyan 4, he was Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker! Ah. I think my tongue is permanently twisted now. These two forms <laughs> fighting side by side implies that, at least in this iteration, both are similar if not equal in power. Ah, oh, Gogeta's so cool! And there are tons of people who'd think he'd win this matchup! In Weekly Jump issue 28 from 1995, the fusion dance was stated to unify Goku and Vegeta's spirits and draw out their power to the max. As long as a fight with Vegeta lasts less than 30 minutes, the magazine says Gogeta should win. And then in the video <laughs> game Raging Blast, there's a what if scenario where Gogeta beats Vegeta in a sparring session. But he was about to run out of energy, so maybe it could have gone either way. Though with his power okay. and skill, it's unlikely any opponent would push Gogeta to his limits. Two of the greatest warriors in history merge together as one. What more could you want as a fan, and what more could you fear as a foe? Oh. It's the spring of 1995. Okay, a demonic menace now. has threatened to consume the world in chaos. I'm ready. Goku and Vegeta were pushed <laughs> to the brink with only one option <laughs> Me left. Too. Fusion! They used one of their most incredible techniques to become a merged <laughs> being of unimaginable power. The 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 okay, that's different because you know they did a fusion dance with... The other one was so innocent. It was Gogeta. like... <laughs> this one's like... 
Ah! Yeah, they go on and come oh! together. That's <laughs> interesting. That's a long list dance routine he'd ultimately despise. Instead, they used the Patara. Only the oh, that's like an earring. Oh, like that's something we're going to get an earring. He's coming in the cars. The gods that <laughs> that the universes. By placing one earring on each person's opposite ear, the Patara forcibly- You know that's been in history for years? No power level match. Uh -huh. For Okay. So no, 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 no. So that's like a legend from like a long time ago. Like it's been in history forever about the earring. So each person puts it on in their ear. And when they do it at the same time, they're either able to change bodies and swap places or fuse together and become one person. And that's how a lot of people would escape like royals and like servants and stuff like that. Like back in the day. It's insane. Dang. I know. I, I, heard, about it. Yes. I heard about it. There's a, a, a video uh, with all the information that supposed to be true. Like for... I think it's Egypt or somewhere in that in history. Choir. In this case, I can't see Vegeta doing Vegeta the fusion dance. To become Vegito. Okay, seriously, Vegito? Couldn't they have a better name? Eh, it's not that bad. And remember, Fusion Reborn <laughs> started production well before Toriyama penned Vegito's first appearance. So, uh, do I call dibs on the better name, man. Huh? But still, shouldn't it be like Vajiku? Mm. Not like yeah, that much Vajiku. better either. Why Vegito? It makes more sense in Japanese. Vegito is for the first half of Vegito Chrono and Trigger the half of Kakaroto. This is why Vizzi actually translated it to Vegerot. Oh, that one sucks too. Okay, bored now. Let's talk about how he blows shit up real good. Vegito has numerous techniques that are entirely his own, many of which are, fittingly, perfect combinations of Goku and Vegeta's signature moves, such as the final Kamehameha, formed like Vegeta's final flash, but fired like Goku's Kamehameha way. He's got okay. a spirit sword, the Saiyan shield, and the Banshee Blast. Which, no, it's not the ghost attack you're thinking of. With Goku and Vegeta's powers combined, Majin Buu was no match. Super Vegeta was so friggin' powerful that even being turned into candy didn't slow him down. It mm. just made him delicious. His level of power had transcended to such an impressive degree oh, that he was capable of effectively ignoring having his matter in Bruh, oh. He turned hey, him into candy. Did y'all see that? He turned this nigga into Hershey's. The Circle Con. But he still was beating him up, mm, man. Yum. I'm fat. Ain't no chocolate about the to beat me up. It's going down. <laughs> Entirely altered and his DNA eradicated. He continued on as the incredible fighting candy. No mouth, no brains, no oh. organs of any kind. And he still kept slapping around that big pink ass. Uh, phrasing. Mm. Uh, presumably, this is similar. That big pink ass. Pauls. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a ball. <laughs> 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 Goku broke through his time skip with Kaioken. A greater power level can overrule basically anything a weaker one does. Though, to be fair, the Super Candy is a pretty extreme example. But Vegito's a pretty extreme guy, even for the Dragon Ball multiverse. He later got that godly blue hairspray and beat the crap out of Merged Zamasu, a double deity. Like a fusion dick measuring contest, but not at all close. <laughs> Whoa. Similar to his dancing challenge. He's been hot as goosey stuff in this video. Which was kind Wait, of so he automatically. Back in the day, they said the. He said a, a fusion dick away. contest. I mean, so is they saying whose penis is bigger? I'm a bit confused yeah. at that part. <laughs> Goku, because he's always chill. He's always happy. He's me. He don't give no fucks. I think Goku has the biggest one. No. She said <laughs> Goku got the biggest cock. That's tough. You know what I mean? Because they more solid. Vegeta, like he talk color. too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little bitch. Like he always mad. Like permanent. Turns out I think it doesn't matter. I think if you have a little one, then you need to learn how to last up to one hour before <laughs> splitting apart, but can be shortened severely if he goes full tilt. In the manga, Vegito I think it don't matter too, but it's a character trait. <laughs> no, I was just telling them kind of they're gonna cry for it. <laughs> Meaning he cut his time down to 40 minutes at most. Though in the Not anime, always, it was though. way less since he tried to quickly overpower Zamasu with a single attack. The Patara have their own set of rules. Unlike the fusion dance, this form is maintained by the power of the earrings not the fusers themselves. As such, destroying the earrings ends the fusion. And oh, if you okay. slam the Patara on while in a Super Saiyan oh, form, God. you can't power down while fused. So if Goku and Vegeta aren't careful, they can find themselves draining power when they don't need to. But surprise, Vegito's got into his own Super Dragon Ball hero shenanigans, and he's got the full power red fur too. Look, Wiz, I think I'm having...
Deja Fu! Aside from Fu, he's battled heavy-hitting threats to the multiverse like Cumber and Mechikabara. And just like with Gogeta, there's plenty of people who think Vegeta would win this fight. Daisenshu's 4 and 7, basically two Dragon Ball encyclopedias, claim that the Potara fusion is superior to the fusion dance. Old Kai okay. said this too, that the Potara provide a greater effect. Though they both may be referring to what was believed at the time to be a permanent fusion. Not having to worry about overspending your time limit would certainly be a greater effect if it were true. But hey, there's nothing that can get in the way of Vegito's awesome power. Gods and demons alike are no match. When there's no one strong enough to save the day, then perhaps two will do. Mm. Who y'all got? Vegito Go or Gogeta? Gogeta. Gogeta. So they kind of did this thing where they gave it away. I want to say Gogeta because he turns into the golden ape thing and the other one doesn't at all. What about, what, what was you yeah, going to say, Maddie? So? I know it's Gogeta. I'm going for Gogeta. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go opposite. So we're not voting for the same person. So you just going for them just so you'll be opposite. I agree. <laughs> y'all got the same person? Actually, no, I think it? the blue hair one. I'm going for Vegito because Vegito, they got the earrings and the, the, the whole power is going to be a lot more better with the earrings versus the fusion. And the fusion doesn't last as long. Unless he can attack those earrings well, and break, break them. Set. We break them for all possibility. Let's Hear my it. wish, Eternal Dragon. It's time <laughs> for a death battle. Let's get it, man. Shenron. What is this madness? Whoa, Vegeta. Am I really that much taller than you? Stuff it, Kakarot. <laughs> you okay, I like how they do this. Oh, and period. Mm. This oh, is man. dope. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> okay. Dang, this is Come on, come on with you. They're going at it. Oh, they going to see it with it. Okay. Oh, oh. Bruh, come on. Dude, what you got, man? What is elbow? Okay. But in the blue. Okay. Not bad. Wanna kick it up a notch? Sure. But how about some variety? Oh, he got the tail. Oh, he's got the tail. Yeah, that's that monkey that over. Come on, boy. Oh, you want to play the hot keto? Oh, he's going crazy. Oh, he's going crazy. Damn, he's about to play. Damn, he's going to play. Okay, come on, yeah. The he said, said my turn. <laughs> okay. Oh. Dang, but we in Sonic World now? Oh my god. Man, but in a bikini bottle. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go Super Saiyan Porn a bit. What? Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> guys, this is going to lie. He played a trick okay. on him. They have it now. I guess it's now or never. It's now or never. What is happening? I'm still the boys. Let's see. Oh, look like we're hot. Oh my god. What just happened? Who won? Oh, oh who the won? Blood? Yeah. <laughs> Them little earrings didn't stand a chance, boy. The oh, earrings yeah, yo, man won. got cooked. My man's got cooked. Vogito. Yeah. 
Bye bye. Oh no, that's Regina. not what I thought. Bye bye, Fuzzy. I knew it because they have that shit in Fortnite. They don't have the other shit oh, in Fortnite. Man, that was that's how I knew. Totally worth the wish. <laughs> well, I guess we probably get ourselves a lot of world problems with that. Gone. I suppose world domination can wait another year. This fight was incredibly close. Nope, seriously, how it was a not? good They're fight. Almost though. exactly the same person. With a nah, I got stuck. Too many there, people like in here knew what was attacks. going on. Neither Vegito nor Gogeta had one single power <laughs> that provided <laughs> crack on the chain. The other. Except perhaps Vegito's longer time limit, though it's not so clear cut. <laughs> Both have overtaxed their energy quick enough to end their fusions in less than <laughs> 10 minutes. Time isn't the only factor, <laughs> but also whatever is maintaining each fusion. Gogeta's body and Vegito's earrings. It's possible Vegito's power can actually drain the Patara faster than Gogeta's body. Remember his, his body? body? Still, it's twice the time, and that definitely gave Vegito more flexibility and strategy. So more often than not, it's safe to say Gogeta would run out of juice first. Also, when Vegito or Gogeta diffuse from power overuse, it's typically difficult for them to immediately fuse again due to that lack of energy. But okay, Vegito well. had another one over Gogeta. No matter what, he'd always have a very slight power advantage. Remember how the fusion dance requires the fusers to match their power levels? Well, the Patara don't need that. Goku doesn't need to match oh, Vegito's slightly lower they power gotta level, match so it. there's nothing stopping Vegito from combining the full sum of their parts. Ah, poor Vegeta. You'll get your day in the sun one day, buddy. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? They always this gotta put down Vegito. Referring to when Vegeta. He said the Patara had a greater effect. But hey, could Gogeta have destroyed the earrings? Nope, he would have had to be able to overpower Vegito first, like how Goku could only hey, destroy the earrings after point. he reached Ultra Instinct. Remember, when comparing oh, levels okay. of power and dragon, so ball, he can't the just go up there and snatch them things off. The weaker one does. The earrings likely tend to be protected by the user's key aura, similar to their clothing. The only oh, okay. time we've ever seen Patara damaged or specifically targeted are when the wearer is overwhelmed or in a vulnerable state. If any stray oh, key okay. blast could destroy them, we'd have a lot more broken earrings by now. <laughs> Lastly, there's some debate over their personalities. In their first appearances, Vegito seemed rather cocky and playful against Boo, whereas Gogeta was far more deliberate against Janemba, and thus far more successful. However, these Dang. are not core personality traits, and assuming so would be inconsistent with Vegito's serious fight with Zamasu and Gogeta's more brash fight with Broly and Omega Shenron. Context referring to when he said the Patara had a greater effect. But hey, could Gogeta have destroyed the earrings? Nope! He would have had to be able to overpower Vegito first, like how Goku could only destroy Kefla's earrings after he reached Ultra Instinct. Remember, when comparing levels of power in Dragon Ball, the greater one can overrule almost anything the weaker one does. The earrings okay. likely tend to be protected by the user's key aura, similar to their clothing. The only time we've ever seen Patara damaged or specifically targeted are when the crazy, wearer though. is overwhelmed or in a vulnerable state. If any stray key blast could destroy them, we'd have a lot more broken earrings by now. Lastly, there's some debate over their personalities. In their first appearances, Vegito seemed rather cocky and playful against Boo, whereas Gogeta was far more deliberate against Janemba, and thus far more successful. However, these are not core personality traits, and assuming so would be inconsistent with Vegito's serious fight with Zamasu and Gogeta's more brash fights with Broly and Omega Shenron. Context is key. As far as personality and mental ability goes, Gogeta and Vegito are practically identical. In the end, Vegito's higher power level, no matter how slight it was, made a big difference in protecting and maintaining his longer, more flexible time limit. Gogeta was gonna need meta more than that to beat Vegito. Sorry, Wiz, I know that pun was potarable. Wait, shut up. Earth's Dragon Balls give two wishes, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, Shinron, I wish for you to fuse me and Wiz. What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> the winner oh. is Vegito. No, hey, go. man, fair enough. We should do that, bro. We should go to that. Well, I like it a lot. It was very entertaining. I'm kind of disappointed that I lost, you know, but uh, it was good. It was a good fight. Very cool. All right. And number two. I'm sad. I can't <laughs> believe that I picked the wrong person, but it was a dope video. I enjoyed myself. So, yeah. I have to pay a little bit more, you know, attention to the actual show. Guess All right. <laughs> They gonna come, they be gonna be like, yeah, you right. That's what they gonna say in the comments. Ain't they ain't they rainy? Yeah, they they gonna for sure. They gonna back it or watch them more. Number three, what do you think about this? I thought that was wild. I've never seen nothing like that. This is my first time watching, like and it was wild. Mm -hmm. 
Who did you go for again? I forgot. Oh. You went. Yo, you went for the I, same person as me. Yeah, you went for the, the same person, person that didn't have the earring, right? Yeah, that's who you went for. Yeah, Vegeta, all right. And we lost. Yeah, we lost. Okay, L. I number four winner. You know what I'm saying with the winning team. You feel me? What do you think about this? You, you on mute? mute. You mute. It. You on mute? I don't know if she can hear me. You on mute? Yeah. I put myself on mute by accident. I'm sorry. Oh, My name okay. is Lokita for a reason. But no. So I feel like I knew it was going to be um, Vegito because I just knew, like, Oh, uh, my brother loves Dragon Ball, and I watched Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z or Kai, but I've watched bits and pieces. I've seen like the edits of like my the metal music in the background, like "Can You Feel My Heart" and stuff. So I feel like I've seen it before, like in the fan art and shit like that. So, but I love Dragon Ball. I should watch Dragon Ball Z, but I like to watch it like perfectly. That's why I never got to watch Dragon Ball Z because I watched Dragon Ball and then like I never. You know, finish. Mm-hmm. Bad. And Rainy? Man, I'm disappointed. You know, my man's lost, though. I feel like if he can, if he got to go, like, to destroy his earrings, he would have not won that fight. But the earrings saved his life. I'm going to be honest. It's like having a gun to a knife mm-hmm. fight. It was not fair to me. Exactly. But it's like, right. also, they right. could have cut off his tail, too, because I've seen that in, like, the video games when they cut off the tail, like, they get mad weak, and they can't grow it back. So he would have had to put, like, a very big power to him to at least get him knocked down on the floor to be able to break those earrings because they heighten. And still, Vegeta, like I said... He ain't as powerful as Goku, so, you know, in that fusion, he would have had to be at his very biggest power for them to be able to surpass Vegito and win because with the earrings, they ain't got to do all that. Remember, they going to already mm-hmm. be at that highest power, so. Um, and I heard, too, that the tail makes them weaker. That they, it's actually like the tail could make them weaker because you could grab their tail. Hmm. Like in the in the game in the show, I think it's like that. Yeah. No, and I mean in the show it's like a strength. I mean, at least in Dragon Ball Z, like when I've been watching. It's a strength, yeah. but it also could it's also could be used as a weakness. It's both. Yeah, it can be used to that. But I think it's kind of <laughs> like the strength, kind of like they gotta kind of knock them down to be able to, you know, take off that tail. I don't think they just gonna let that go. Quick, yeah, you gotta rip like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man, you ain't coming for but the tail, dying. my guy. <laughs> you know, or you ain't coming for the earrings. You know, that's a fashion statement, okay? So you ain't coming for the earrings, no cap, man. But hey, follow these beautiful ladies, man. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for coming out, man. No cap. Hit that like, hit that sub, man. It's the fat red guy, man. I'm signing now. Guys, have a wonderful day, man.